shall they cast out devils. They'll lay hands on the sick and the sick shall recover. Well, now, so guess what? The next day, okay, I left that day. And the next day, I went back to the hospital. And, you know, I've always been a man of faith, a man of character, a man of righteousness, a man of holiness. And I don't know how to do nothing else but trust Jehovah. That's who I am and that's who I'm going to be. Amen. I'm going to leave. I'm determined to leave out trusting in Jehovah. Listen, no matter what happens, I'm determined to always have a praise. I'm determined to always be consecrated through fasting and prayer. Amen. I'm determined to be into the word of Jehovah and being transformed into the word of Jehovah. I'm almost finished. Well, now the next day I went into the room. And Erica was sitting up there, and she said, well, Dad, they want to operate on Friday. And she took her hands underneath the bag and flipped the bag. And they said, but she said, but they still don't know what this is. And I can see the discouragement on my daughter's face. Glory be to Jehovah. And so I felt, for one minute, I felt helpless. If I can say that to you, I felt helpless. I never, I never felt like that before. Here was my child, and I couldn't do anything for her. And so I said to my child, I said, baby, if I could jump in your body and you jump in my body and I take this pain for you, I would do it. I would do it right now. I would do it right now. But let me say something to you. If you let me lay hands on you and pray the prayer of faith. God will heal you. Jehovah will heal you right now. He'll raise you right up off that bed. He can heal you. And I tell you, my daughter sat there in the bed. And she put her head back, closed her eyes, and lift her hands up. I put my hands on her forehead. Amen. Glory be to Jehovah. And I prayed the prayer of faith. Amen. And I left out of the room. Now, when I left out of the room, I got down on the elevator. When I got out of the elevator, I walked out of the elevator straight. Amen. I felt something on me. And when I got out of the doors of the hospital, the Spirit of the Lord spoke and said to me, These signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out, shall they cast out devils. They'll lay hands on the sick. And the sick shall recover. Amen. Glory be to Jehovah. So I had seen that. I had just did that. And that was confirmation that Jehovah was going to do what he said. See, anytime someone has ever prophesied to me, anytime I ever got anything from Jehovah, he always confirmed it through his word for me. Amen. I don't know how it works for you, but that was a good sign for me. And then once I, 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 I turned, the, I, I pressed the key and I opened up the door when I got in the car. Amen. Glory be to Jehovah. Then the word came to me, no operation. And I got excited because I knew it was the audible voice of Jehovah. He said, no operation. So I called a couple of my preacher friends. I called some people to give you just to testify what Jehovah said to me. Amen. And then, you know, I'm going to tell you what happened. Now, I want you to get this in your spirit. I'm almost finished. This is going to help somebody. Now, I, I had just heard from Jehovah, and I began to talk to different people, and I talked to one person. Now, one person said to me, now, I was excited. I want you to get it in your spirit that I had got directions from Jehovah. From Jehovah. And I called this one particular pastor. I trusted this pastor. And I was excited because Jehovah just told me that he had healed my daughter and there would be no operation. Well, this pastor said, well, you know what? I only, I, I kind of want to agree with you only because you said that they don't know what's in that black bag. So that was just a little bit of it that I did to give the enemy that just the enemy needed. And see what happens when you hear that. And so now there was doubt. And because that person said that to me, the person was coming in the flesh. And guess what? It was somebody that I respected more than anybody I called. And I want you to get this in your spirit. And so what happened was that doubt. And, you know, and for like I had to fight. There was a war within a war because I had to fight. 
to keep what Jehovah said to me opposed to say, oh, what if I made the wrong decision? Or what if I did this? Or what if I did that? And that's, that's all you, that's all the enemy needs. Listen, you don't need to give him no more room. You need to grab a hold of this word and know what happens next. I go from victory to victory. I am a say, I the prophet said today that Jehovah said, go and tell my people what happens next. What do I do after here? Well, you keep on continuing. What do you continue in? You continue in walking in, in the faith of Jehovah. You continue walking in the victory of Jehovah. You continue walking in the signs of Jehovah. From victory to victory, new mercies you will see. All that you have need of, his hands shall provide. Nevertheless, not my will, but thine will be done. You need a nevertheless experience. You need to close your mind and close those ears off to the doubters and the naysayers. But you need to find yourself reaching unto the things of Jehovah. Reaching up and grabbing hold to the things of Jehovah. I, I believe he spoke to me. And because he spoke to me, no matter what you say, I'm going to hold on to it. Is there anything too hard for Jehovah? No, there's not. He's the creator of all things. So I'm going to put my trust in him. Nevertheless, not my will, but thine will be done. Thine will be done today. Thine will be done today in my life. And the Lord will do it for you. He's going to do it every time. Let me tell you something. We've been man door for a night. But joy cometh in the morning. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. And he promised to delight himself in your path. Amen. There's nothing, there's nothing that Jehovah won't do for you. Continue to walk in faith. Continue to walk in courage. Continue to walk in the strength of Jehovah. Don't you allow yourself to be backed up in a corner. Amen. They can't pressure you. Don't you allow yourself to be intimidated today. Don't you allow yourself to be depressed today. Don't you allow yourself to be weary and well-doing because you're raped. If you faint not, don't give up here. Don't stop here because Jehovah has another plan for you. I'm speaking to somebody. You out there that believe this and need this, amen, you need to know what happens next. And now that you've received that you're going from victory to victory, wherever you are, if you're in the hospital, there's another victory after this. If you're incarcerated, there's another victory after this. If you lost your home, there's another victory after this. If you lost your job, laid off, there's another victory after this. If you're business, business collapse, there's another victory after this. If you lost someone, a loved one, there's another victory after this. Amen. A loss in life is not a loss of life. So we can move on. We can live on through this. Why are we living on through this? Because we have been made and prepared for the certainties of Jehovah. You be blessed today. And Father, I thank you for your word. I thank you for your word over your people. And I bless you. 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 I bless thy name. I bless thy name. I bless thy name. I bless thy name. And I give you glory. And I give you glory. And I give you glory. I give thy name honor. Hallelujah. 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 Glory. 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 Odi ashamanda rosi ramanda didiosa ya ishamanda rosi yabasha yamanda rosi o shamanda I give thy name glory. I give you glory. I give you glory. I give you glory. Oh, Shabbat. Mama, say. Oh, glory, 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 glory. Oh, Shabbat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, the Ashamanda Rosi. Hallelujah. Yamanda de Yosi Robosaya. Oh, glory, 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 glory. Ayabasha, Yamanda Rosi. Ishamanda Rose, Ramanda de Yosaya. Oh, Shaban, Mamanda Rose, Yamanda de Yosaya. I give you glory, I give you glory, I give you glory, I give you glory. Ayabasa. Thank you, Ayanana Rose. Your spirit moves over the people, everyone under the sound of my voice. 
Amen. Victories upon victories be upon them. Victories upon the victories of Jehovah. Everyone under the Sayabasha Yamandarosi. He shamandarosaya. Ah, your victories are upon them. Who shaba Yamandarose? They're free today. They're no longer intimidated. The blood, the blood, the blood prevails. They're no longer weary. The blood of Yeshua prevails. Thank you for the harvest that is at their hands. Thank you for every promise. Thank you for endurance to every promise, everything that you said. Every promise that you said shall come to pass. And I thank you. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, the Holy One. Amen and amen. Jehovah, I bless you. The end of that story with my daughter. That I prayed for her on a Wednesday. On Thursday, I was in front of my office in the middle, in the middle of Center City. And I'm going to tell you something. My daughter called me and she said, Dad, no operation. Well, I stood in awe of Jehovah, or what I call I stand in awe of God. And I'm going to tell you, I wept for about two, three hours on the middle of that street. Amen. In front of my office, because I'm going to tell you something. You know, we're out here and we're saying that we are believers of Jehovah and that we walk in the things of Jehovah. Some of you call yourself Christian. Some of you call yourself this and you call yourself that, whatever it is. But whatever it is, you believe in the supreme being, something greater. You know, God, Jesus, Jehovah, whatever it is, you believe in that. And, you know, some of that stuff that you read in those Bibles you know, not some of it, all of it should work for you, but you should start experiencing some of it. If you would just, if you would just follow me and you would just connect with me, I just want you to connect with me. I'm not talking about no financial connection. I'm talking about a spiritual connection that if we could just, if we could just build an army together, just weeping before Jehovah for souls and for our purpose and for the things of his kingdom being revealed and open and manifest in the land i'm not talking about how i look and appearances i'm not talking about prosperity i'm talking about falling in place with Jehovah, because guess what we want to be able to walk in what happens next at this point how do we get from this point to our promise because we've just reached another realm another space now how do we get from here over to the promise how do we get over on the other side i just want you to connect with me if you didn't need prayer requests you know you can email me at i won't miss live at gmail.com that's all one word i won't miss live at gmail.com you that will click on follow Follow. I know that this, 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 this that, that Jehovah is allowing this this word and his and his and his um, his message to get out. But I'm trying to I'm trying to expand it so that not I'm not trying. I want to. My desire is to expand it rather so that I can do iHeart and other different stations. So there's just more people that can hear. And all I need is I need followers. Now I know people are listening, but I can't get recognized without you following. And let me tell you something. If you would just partner with me, Jehovah is going to do something great for all of you. Now, listen, I want to continue with this. I just want you to know I love all of you. I appreciate all of you. I, th I would like to give a special shout out to my pastor, my friend, Jason. Jason, I love you, man. I'm, I'm, I'm excited about what you're doing. And I'm excited about what Jehovah is going to do in your life. Like right now in this now season, I believe in Jehovah to do something special in your life, Pastor Jason. You continue to work with me and with worship and, 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 and music and, and just, just being the young man of God. I'm proud of you. Amen. And everybody with Voices of Variety, listen, all my friends, all you that have been supporting me with your prayers and, and, and just, just encouraging words. I'm excited about it. Listen, and you that have friends out there that need to, you know, they need to hear what happens next. Listen, all you got to do is I encourage you to email it to them. You just click send and you can send this stuff to anybody. Let me tell you something. You can download it and play it as many times as you want. You don't have to. It's not like going to church. I've been saying it's not like going to the church and the tape ministry and the DV ministry where you got to give them five and seven dollars and then they sell a series and all that stuff. Guess what? Every message is over 54 messages. And guess what? You can download every message. 
that Yehovah has given us for free. And I'm going to tell you why it's for free like that. I want y'all to click follow because guess what? I, I don't feel a right to make it where I have to charge for something because guess what? I don't want you to ever have to go through what I had to go through to deliver a message because there's some suffering and some sacrifices. You understand what I'm saying? There's a process in order to deliver the things of Jehovah. And I don't and not only that, I don't want to I don't want to put no price tag on something and have to repeat that thing over again. Or I go back through that cycle because I put some money on a revelation. Amen. I didn't own it. Now I